Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Eric B, and welcome back to the channel. And we are doing yet another first ride video on a cruiser. And I know I've been doing probably more cruises than I have sport bikes um, in a while other than my own. I've had my eye on this bike for a while. I really do like the styling of it. Um, the uh, the owner, you know, it was just sitting in the parking lot and every day I go by it at work, you know, I'm like, man, it's, this thing looks good. I need to find out who rides this thing. And uh, finally caught up to him and he, he's allowed me to ride it. So big shout out to him for that. And like I said before, guys, this thing looks pretty awesome. I mean, between this and the 883, I think they are uh, both uh, really nice looking sportsters. And um, the biggest difference between the two really is going to be, you know, the, the motor and the power and everything like that. Um, if I'm wrong on that, let me know. But uh, pretty much w the, the things that I've seen so far from seeing an 883 and a 1200 has been the handlebars, um, the motor, and really that's about it in my opinion. All right, so just looks right off the bat. I don't know if these bags come um, standard with the bike. He has one in the front right here and then one on the side. Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, if it was my bike, I would probably remove those. I just, I don't really do the uh, the bags and stuff like that on the bikes. The other thing is the tank here. So um, I did notice it sat lower before when I saw it, but he said he moved it up. And I guess you can do that. So it's adjustable in, in that sense. And um, it's more for aesthetics and stuff like that, I guess. All right, so he did upgrade the exhaust so we do have a Van Hines exhaust system on here I believe it's just a slip on I don't think it's the full system and really other than that as far as upgrades and stuff like that to this bike goes that's uh about it now looking at this front tire the size of it it's funny because it's the same size as the front tire on my Brixton which is like a 100 um I believe yeah 190 uh this is a 19 I think mine's an 18 but uh but yeah, that's <laughs> that's the tire in the front, and it's like a, a 150 or something out back. And as always, Harley keeps their nice classic look to their bikes. All right, and here's the speedometer. Nice and simple. Um, your tachometer is right here uh, in the middle right there. It's digital, and I'll show you guys that once we get out on the road. And then another thing I would have never known is this is where your oil goes. So you remove this, and this is your dipstick and everything, and the oil goes inside of that uh, little area right there. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out on the road. And before we do that, as always, let's cut to the b-roll Let's get this thing started. So we'll do a uh, start here for you guys so you guys can hear it. So controls are, are pretty simple as well. Um, you have this right here that uh, turns on your ignition. And this bike is keyless. So I have the uh, key fob in my pocket. And all you gotta do is hit the button and start her up. Oh yeah. That exhaust sounds nice. Look, even got the nice Harley shake of the handlebars and everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh man, red light. All right. The Iron 1200. So, like I said before, I know someone that has an 883. Um, I just haven't had a chance to uh, get on it yet. But uh, the 1200, man, just riding it over here uh, uh, to the parking lot here, man, this thing has a ton of torque. Yes, let's just go on ahead and knock that portion out. So the power on this thing, it has a 1200 cc motor. We have 60 horsepower with 73 pound feet of torque. Now, yeah, 60 horsepower doesn't seem like a lot, but for cruisers, you really don't need that much horsepower. You're not, you know, these aren't top end monsters or anything like that. Um, what you want is all that down low torque and grunt. 
um, and that's what really gets these things up and moving man it's just like I said like whew, it just puts you back that torque is crazy not cur not not super crazy but uh but from what I've been used to for the past couple months man it, it seems crazy to me now my uh, my sport bike my KTM has 90 pound-feet of torque and a whole lot more horsepower you know that bike was meant to just go fast this thing is a little bit different you know like most of your cruisers and some of the the stuff I talked about in some of my other other cruiser videos but I think uh, if you were trying to choose between an 883 and the 1200 you might want to just go to with the 1200 anyway just uh, for the sheer fact of the power man this thing has a, a lot more power um, and I think the price difference is is not far off um, you could pick one of these up new for right around 10, 10 grand if I'm not mistaken but yeah and the exhaust man just makes it even better so I never you know got to hear this thing with the stock exhaust but oh this thing sounds so good all right so looking at the controls and everything on here um, pretty simple like I said and then Harley's uh, they're, they're the way that their blinkers are you know they're on this uh, separate handlebars and the cool thing about this is it has uh, what do you call it uh, auto canceling blinker so you know once you lean over and uh, bring it back up they automatically you know turn off which is kind of cool because I tend to forget that my blinkers on all the time I'm sure I'm not the only one um, you got your horn right here uh, I don't want to beep it because then they'll think I'm, I'm beeping at them uh, flashers and then you know turn everything on and all that it's pretty simple all right so like I was saying about the dash here and I hope you guys can hear me pretty good because <laughs> this exhaust is loud but uh, like I said, very simple dash, uh, classic, you know, with all Harleys and everything that I've been on. So that's the other thing. I've had an opportunity to be on, what, four or five different cruisers so far. Uh, let's see. I've been on two different Sportsters, and then now this one that makes three, and then a Harley-Davidson Road King Special. If you've never been on a cruiser or a Harley and you're like a sport bike guy and you're kind of like, oh, you know, only sport bikes, you know, have an open mind and get out there and ride other things because they're not bad bikes you know what I'm saying everything has its purpose like I was saying before the tachometer is right here it's digital um, right here in the middle and then you also have a shift indicator as well all right I like the position of the mirrors that's not too bad it's good for looks and everything I don't know if they come stock up here or if they're down low like that but I do like the position of those so in my last video I really didn't know the roads or really where to go and open the bike up but I think I kind of figured out a spot now so Hopefully we're good with that. All right, so the ergonomics on this bike so far, not too bad. The seat is actually pretty comfortable and I like how it has that hump um, back here when you know, you're really getting into the throttle. The handlebars though, uh, it comes stock with the uh, handlebars like this. I probably prefer lower handlebars um, than this, but this may be comfortable for, you know, when you're riding on like a longer ride or something like that. The other thing, it, uh, it makes it weird to turn with the higher handlebars. Like when I rode that Road King and it had the, uh, the higher, I don't know what you call them, ape hangers or something like that. <laughs> I'm not a cruiser guy, but uh, but I didn't like how uh, how they were. Like they just, it made it tough to turn. Ooh, watch out there, buddy. It's not a very safe uh, intersection right there. Holding up traffic, let's go. And the other thing is these mid controls. I do not like mid controls. It seems like all the sports shows I've been on, they have mid controls. Um, they're not really great because, uh, you know, if you're a taller rider, got longer legs, they, they seem like they're in the way. That's what I miss. <laughs> I miss that power. I can get around stuff. <laughs> now the other thing is, can a taller rider, like you know, you're six foot and above, ride something like this? I think you can. You're once again, if you have the mid controls, your legs are up a little bit higher. Um, but overall, I feel comfortable riding this bike, uh, the position and everything. So it's, it's not too bad. Also, this bike is belt driven. It has a five-speed transmission and uh, it's also air cooled. All right, so we're also tipping the scales on this bad boy at uh, around 574 pounds. Uh, pretty standard, I would assume, for, for a bike like this. Not too bad. Feels pretty good, you know, when you're out on the road and everything else. I mean, I can move it around in the parking lot pretty easily, but for some someone else, it may be a little bit more difficult. You probably wanna be sitting on the bike when you're moving it, so that way you don't drop it. All right, so as far as the suspension goes on this bike, um, it's a little rough, in my opinion. Um, it's not as plush as some of the other 
ones that I've been on, uh, but this is a Sportster, so you know it's probably made to handle a little bit better. But uh, not bad, but just a lot of the you know bigger bumps and stuff like that. The, the suspension in the rear feels really rough. All right, we had to flip a Yui there, turn this bad boy around so we can go the other way. Actually, I need to readjust my navigation. <laughs> One second. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> you know I had to do it. <laughs> All right, so see how this thing leans here. Not too bad. I haven't really leaned too many cruisers. <laughs> I do feel that the uh, the front end can get a little gets a little light or a little wobbly a little bit when you're uh, really getting into it all right <laughs> uh, it's about as fast as we're gonna get around here unlike some of the roads and uh, <laughs> when I'm back in the States I can open her up and go a little bit faster but uh <laughs> there's too much traffic and stuff like that now the sportster s i had that thing pretty much topped out that thing will do it i mean i'm pretty sure I, if i had a little bit more road we could get it at least maybe 110 <laughs> but uh but yeah I, I don't know has anyone uh topped out their uh iron 1200s all right so in all honesty I think this wouldn't be bad if you were, you know, going on a longer ride or something like that. I mean, it feels pretty good, you know, as far as the position and everything goes. Now, the seat may get a little uncomfortable just because I'm already kind of feeling it now. So you may want to get a, uh, a more comfortable seat like a, like a Corbin or something like that. But, uh, but I mean, overall, not bad, guys. So really, I don't have a whole lot of complaints um, on this bike you know what I'm saying and I've yet to ride an 883 and I think I'll be able to have a better comparison when I do really the only thing that I don't like obviously is the mid controls because I, I just don't like the position of them uh, they're always always hitting my shins and I think it'd be an even more comfortable ride if I could have my feet more forward. Um, the other thing is probably the handlebars. I just don't like the, the way that these handlebars are set up. I like a lower handlebar. That's just my opinion. And this exhaust sounds nice. It's so loud. <laughs> Has good power, good torque and everything on it. And uh, I think the price range and everything for this is good as well. You know, it's not super expensive. Um, some of the other ones that I've been on, you know, like the, uh, I don't remember how much the Sportster S is, but I know like the um, Indian Scout Bobber, that's right around like 13 grand or something like that. And I like how they're all priced. You know, you get into these sport bikes, oh man, especially you get into your leader bikes, they're all so expensive. But uh, it comes, you know, everything comes with a cost. You know, you're paying for all out performance for those bikes you know and uh, a lot of them have a lot of features and electronics and stuff like that in them so you get what you pay for man you are definitely waking the neighbors up with this thing <laughs> all right guys that's going to do it for me on this first ride you know i'm just an average joe giving you guys a review on this bad boy and uh hopefully i answered some questions for you if you're on the fence of getting this bike if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe if you're liking what you're seeing give me a like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace